Here is why I have stopped doing high intense finishes and replaced them with increasing my steps which helped me lose over 20 pounds on my hollow shred. Hey everyone, I'm the Jewish Fitness Coach. I help people become the best version of themselves through health and fitness. I completely understand the logic why you may choose to do a high intense finisher because you burn more calories which is really really good. What I've seen in the past, my clients, myself and other people, because your body is burning more calories, your body needs more energy and you're more likely to snack. For myself, when I was doing high intensity exercises, I was less inclined to go for a walk later in the day. I was less inclined to go for a walk for the following day because I did a high intensity workout the day before and this led to me making zero results which made me really frustrated so what I did is I made a change to making one intense workout per week because I want to get my heart rate going fast and just focus on increasing my steps throughout the day because I had more energy throughout the day what I saw is I was less inclined to snack throughout the day even though I was burning less calories my body was able to be in a stable calorie deficit throughout the time which helped me stay consistent with my goals so if you're doing loads of high intensity workouts finishes why not make that change yes you're going to burn less calories but you'll be less inclined to have that extra portion here is why I think group classes are overrated for 99% of people. Hey everyone, I'm the Jewish Fitness Coach. I hope you become the best version of yourself through health and fitness. Currently in Tel Aviv, I see more boot camp classes than I see gyms. It's crazy. Yet, 99% of people cannot stay consistent with classes. I know the 1% who can, and I show up every single day, but 99% just cannot stay consistent. They do it for two weeks, it's super, super intense, they feel great, but it's really hard to stay consistent. One of my clients before coming to me absolutely love boot camp classes. I remember them sending me a photo on Instagram showing me how many calories they burned. They were not able to stay consistent consistent with the classes. So what we did, and it was a tough switch at the beginning, but we actually switched just to gym workouts. And honestly, the last three to four months, she has been consistent in the gym. Now yes, of course in this gym workout, you're gonna burn less calories. But in the gym workout, we were able to see progression in our lifts and we're able to stay consistent, which is the number one important thing. So for you, don't always focus on what burns more calories. Don't focus on the high glamorous thing. Focus on what you can stay consistent with, how you can progress over time, because that's going to win every single day. If you're always on and off with your fitness journey, ensure you do these two things which can help you make progress. Hey everyone, I'm the Jewish Fitness Coach. I hope you become the best version of yourself through health and fitness. Make sure to give me a follow. Before I created this video, I actually wrote a list of everything I need to do to achieve any goal. Maybe is to drop 20 pounds, maybe it's to run a marathon, maybe it's lift 100 kg. And if you put all these things in a Venn diagram, the thing in the middle, here are the two things. Number one, ensure you are moving in your free time. If you prioritize going for a walk in your free time, you're going to make progress mentally, feeling better, also the physical benefits down the line. So what you need to do is find a step goal and hit it. Number two, and I think a lot of people neglect this, is ensuring that every single meal will have a palm of protein. That's not gonna be a way where you're obsessed with calorie counting, but it gives you structure in every single meal. Breakfast is a protein. Lunch is their protein. Dinner is their protein. Get into that routine so you're not always obsessed, but you have a structure. Realistically, these things do not require your life to be turned upside down. They're two things that you can start today, and over time you can progress. But the hardest part is just starting. So stop watching this video and start. How to work out for under an hour, feel more confident, and drop over 20 pounds without flipping your life upside down, and without doing any crazy diet. Hey everyone, I'm the Jewish Fitness Coach. I help people become the best version of themselves through health and fitness. Make sure you give me a fellow. I've seen it so many times and so many examples. If when someone wants to make a change to their physique, they automatically go to clean diet 24 7, work out every single day, and this is just not sustainable in the long term. And truthfully, you just don't need to. You can still live like a human and still make amazing results. One of my clients, Alex, was trying workouts here and there and was never making solid progress consistently. On our kicks article, we mapped out the first step. How can we do that first 10 pounds? We achieve so much more, but take that first step, even the first pound, and then same again with 10 pounds. What we did is look at a training plan that we could stay consistent with, progress over time without spending hours in the gym. We looked at making some nutritional changes, and protein at every single meal. And lastly, we took every single day to ensure that Alex was accountable to what he set out to do each day. And what's gone up since then? Gym confidence. We've lost over 20 pounds. He's got a lot stronger. And what's gone down? Overall body fat percentage, waist measurements. What Alex has achieved has been phenomenal. But the main thing I'm impressed with is consistency. It wasn't gonna be we lost 10 pounds in the first week. How can we build small habits and be consistent? Results will come. Because Alex was so consistent, month, two months down the line, that's the amazing result on Alex. Here is how you can still have alcohol moderation and still make amazing progress. One of my clients last week was so surprised they still lost two pounds whilst having a night out drinking. And it made me think about a lot of things, education out there about alcohol. Alcohol is deemed as fattening so on, but it's just calories. But what's the effect of alcohol is the hangover. It's the cause of the night, which can influence the day afterwards, such as when you go out 
drink. Maybe you have a lot of food after you go out drinking and get back at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And the next day, you're less likely to be disciplined to go for a walk, to maybe do that workout, to do the things that you would normally do. So alcohol itself isn't bad, but if you set a routine, if you're disciplined enough, continue the next day as usual, or even try and be as consistent as you can, you still make progress. At the end of the day, as cliche as it sounds, it's all about money.